Be on the lookout for viewers who have been subscribed. Hey, I think I found one. If we hit 1,000 subscribers by December, everyone will get their fair share of this treasure. I did a thing. Australian animals have developed some pretty cool and creative ways of protecting themselves. Like echidnas. It looks like a dink. Magpies. Fucking magpies. Stingrays. With the late Steve Irwin. And hermit crabs. Ow. Oh. Hi, Polo. You wanna watch with us? He killed it? Oops. Sorry. Big but Polo some of their methods aren't quite strong enough. So today, I'm going to make hermit crabs stronger oh. by giving them some armor and weapons, so they can destroy them, anything bad. that tries to touch them. I want to but what's this song again? Alright, I hate first thing myself. I need hermit crabs, and I could just buy them from the store, but they are expensive, and it also seems a little unethical. So instead, I decided to get them from the wild, taking them away from their home, family, and friends. Nice. Waves keep on washing over me Now Look I want fish. to find a crab that is around 3 centimeters in diameter, so I brought my tape measure and began to measure. That's a cool fish. Where's crab again? You have nim crab. Or just do mimane. But after losing a tug of Yeah, it does pronger, but... Oh, Not a lot of people have HBO, maybe. Okay. Oh, really I gave up on the measuring and started searching for any shells I could find, but unfortunately all the shells were either empty or occupied with snails. Occupado! Which I crushed up for the fish. Who started to get really friendly with me. Almost too friendly. So I decided to call it and get out before they get up to any funny business, as these guys are notoriously named Blue Gropers. Yeah, that so actually I started looks looking in the rock pools, like up to something and just anywhere with water, until eventually I found this guy. I saw this rock moving before. Oh, euphoria, that's the, the- oh, you're the one who suggests that movie all the time? What's so good about it? I don't think drama-heavy, dialogue-heavy movies are good for movie night, because a lot of people shuffle in and out. So then I gave the rock a wash, and began looking for more. Nice, dude. Look at and after cat searching out. some more in this area, I found two more hermit crabs. Let's call them Sandy, months. Randy, and Handy. And I made Club. them this home. Can I come in handy? With sand and random Lego pieces. Thank you, Jaffa. Importantly, has a heat map for the that emulates months. the warmth Welcome back. that a hermit crab is used to getting from heat mats that exist naturally in the wild. Mm. Okay, now I just need to make the metal shells. <laughs> and the first thing that comes to mind is casting their shells out of aluminium. And I can do this by 3D printing some shells with some cool designs like this, and then taking a cast of the 3D print and then pouring metal Put in weapons to on them. the mold. And I Everyone want the crab's has... armor to still look like shells, but also have a Mad Max style to it, with stuff like armor plates, some spikes, buzz saws, and a swastika. Let's go. What? Now, I know that sounds bad, but just hear me out. Imagine you're going for a lovely, relaxing walk on the beach, just enjoying your time. But then you step on something sharp, and you look down and you see a shiny crab. So you pick it up, and it's a Nazi crab <laughs> wearing a suit of armor. What the f <laughs> Imagine how confused a random person would be if this by chance happens to them, that they just happen to step on the most evil crab in the world. And that's what I want. So okay. I 3D printed all my shell designs and baked them in the sand enough. to harden up. Then cast one in plaster with some arms for the molten metal to run down and left that for a couple of days to dry. Now I'm hoping that when the molten metal enters the holes, it will instantly melt the resin and styrofoam, creating a void which the metal will fill. Oh. So next thing, I invited the neighbor's kids over for a 24 pack. A VV! Short neck. I wanna try this beer, man. 
We're not leaving until you finish. All right? Okay. And then okay. collected all the cans, which I melted down in my furnace. <laughs> and while the cans are melting, it's the perfect time to tell you about today's sponsor, KiwiCo, which is a much better thing to get for your kids instead of drinks. KiwiCo is Ooh. a subscription service where you get a STEM project. Hey, this is like a, a Christmas idea. Shit, I just realized I have six nieces that I got to give gifts. Post once a month. Everything you need is there in the box, meaning you don't need to go to the shops for batteries or anything. The crates teach science, art, and engineering, and yeah, are designed to spark heard a child's bad. curiosity and creativity. I was really impressed by this domino machine and this walking yeah, robot, all which nieces. both teach awesome engineering and design concepts. I really enjoyed this do-it-yourself air hockey kit. I didn't know if you pump it, it gets so big. It gets so big when you pump it. Which is aged five plus, so is perfect for me and my friends. KiwiCo has heaps of different crates to choose from, and each monthly crate is designed Give by awesome. experts and Let's tested awesome. by kids. So it really is the perfect thing for you to get for the kids in your life. And I really wish I had KiwiCo to play with as a child, instead of what my mum gave me. So, if you want to try it out and support my channel, click the link in the description and get your first month free. Uh, Thanks ducks. to KiwiCo for sponsoring the video. Okay, now time to check on the cans. And when they seemed liquidy enough, I poured them into the mold. This seems safe. What bothers me the most out of, in all of these videos is that he never wears shoes ever. I just I panic just looking at it. <laughs> Fucking Aussies. Did I meditate? And I don't think no. there was any chance that this worked. So I gently cracked it open to look. Gently. And that didn't work at all. The aluminium didn't run into the hole and I could try again, but the bad thing about doing this with plaster is the mold is not reusable and takes a very long time to remake. So instead I decided to make a mold out of high temperature silicon, which I've used before to make high temperature flashlights. Huh? It's high here. I only wear flip flops. Bro, are you really Australian? I thought all Australians call them thongs. Or maybe you knew I wouldn't know what that meant. Maybe you didn't want to the metal, which I can just melt on the stove, which is great, as I won't burn myself as much. And to make the silicon mold, I took the resin shell and placed it at the bottom of this PVC pipe, and then poured silicon over it the out. top until it almost came over the shell. Then I let that dry before pouring another layer on the top so it runs inside the shell, and then let that dry. And now hopefully I can neatly pull apart the layers, creating a two-part mold. Together. Which didn't work. He's got to so stop biting one. his nails, this man. I used graphite powder so they would separate. There's now graphite. The computer, which is this metal here, which makes you feel incredibly strong. Which I just cut into chunks. And then melted it down in this little saucepan. And if you're following along from home, it's very important that you also use a pot with a plastic handle like this one, which will catch on fire, releasing poisonous fumes. Oh. Then once the metal was no longer its solid self, I poured it into this hole. Drink it for superpowers. Painting this. Yeah, and it probably... turns out casting a hollow spiral tube is very hard, but I kept trying. We're getting there. Do 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 do. And Order. after pouring and destroying at least 10 molds, I finally managed to get this. That one actually looks pretty good. Yo! Whoa. Which is almost good enough, but I've realized a problem. This shell is very heavy, at 90 grams. And if we compare that to the weight of a hermit crab... Oops. Aw, oh, poor thing. He will never use it. Which is zero. 
the shell weighs infinitely more, which is a big difference. So I need to come up with some other way of doing this. And I think Electro plays- Hasn't he already spoiled it though? When he showed the Nazi crap thing, didn't he already show like his, yeah, these ones. Isn't that what he's gonna be? Is my best bet. And the first thing I need to do is make a bath filled with the metal I want to plate in, which is nickel. So I just got two nickel plates and put them oh, in a vinegar well. solution and then got this wire and attached it to both plates. And then very quickly, the bath turned from clear to green meaning it's now filled with nickel. And I know this setup looks bad, like I'm making meth or something, mm. which I am doing, Walter. don't get me wrong, but just not here on this table. About the journey, not okay. the destination. Now that I have my okay. green bar, I, I tested to see the... if I even know how to electroplate using this copper wire, which I connected to the negative power and then put the positive on this nickel chunk. And now hopefully the nickel metal moves from the negative through the bath onto the copper, coating it in nickel. And after only dunking it in the solution for like 30 seconds, the copper wire was covered in a layer of nickel, which Yo. means this should work. Science. So I covered the shells in a conductive paint and put them in and waited and waited and waited and the shells were much slower than the copper wire, but it does look like it's working as I can see some nickel. So I left them overnight. And this doesn't actually look that bad at all. It's kind of shiny and is also very light while also having the added strength from the metal. And best of all, it makes this noise, which is good enough for me. So I coated a bunch of different shell designs all sizes, I heard it was a magpie. and then also did some in copper, which looks awesome. Copper. It has this crystalline metal growth on the end of the spikes, which makes the copper almost look organic. And then put all the shells in the tank for the hermit crabs to choose. And this is the annoying bit of the video for me, as I have no idea how long the crabs are going to take to pick a shell. It's and too after small. watching them for a week, nothing happened. Although I did learn a lot about the crabs, like that Sandy loves to eat fish, Randy mm -hmm. loves digging in the corner, and Handy, well, uh, he loves... Yeah. And he's but the dunk one. more importantly, I learned that all of them are liars. And despite what a hermit crab tells you, they are not actually crabs at all and had been lying to me for two weeks before I discovered they were actually something called a decapod crustacean. And I have no idea what that means. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because it looks like something has finally happened. Oh yeah? And I came back to the tank one night to find this empty shell and Randy in his beautiful new home. Oh my God. <laughs> Let's go, Randy. I wish I would have kind of painted them as well, though. So, so was was it not too heavy? I don't know. I I didn't quite follow what he did when it was too heavy. I was confused. He just coated them. Hey, Banks, thirty-one months. Welcome back. He played at the three D. Oh. Oh. And personally, I would have picked the larger shell for myself, as he barely fits in the thing. But it seems fine, as he can still do all the things he loves doing, like running, digging, and climbing. It's so cute! And it's also nice to know he isn't a racist, and didn't pick the Nazi shell. Good which you, I reckon Andy might go for, as he does spend a lot of time separating the sand into different colours. Hmm. It's also really awesome seeing Randy dig under the ground as when he's under, it's just the spikes on top of the shell poking out in a similar way to an echidna, which would really hurt if you stepped on him. And I really didn't think this would work at all. So I am very happy with this result. And I could wait longer to see if the other crabs also adopt their new shells, but I've been doing this for two months now and I feel like I'm really pushing my luck and I'm gonna be responsible for the death of a crab soon. So I just decided to call it here and release the crabs back into the wild. No Nazi crab. Andy and Handy the crabs. in their boring shells. And then Randy in his beautiful armor. <laughs> okay, buddy. Bye, Randy. So hopefully... He I feel like the spikes are actually pretty inconvenient for him, though. Even though it looks cool. The long, happy life destroying the ecosystem he lives in. <laughs> and the crabs aren't the only thing I'm releasing. I've got three leftover metal shells, which I've placed on beaches all over Sydney for you to find. Mm. Here are some clues on where to find them. I've written a, um, a poem. 
Um, at this beautiful point, you'll feel like a man. Shout out to Nim if that's so just climb down no this gully and, kind of and follow up, my plan. Nice. When you get to the ledge and look around, you'll find the shell where I peed on the ground. Oh. Save time, 16 months. Thank you. Welcome back. At this beach, you'll find many... At this beach, you'll find many men laying bare. I was tempted to join them, but I didn't dare. So I placed the shell right under this rock. But all I could think about was that man's... Cock. Smile. Oh, oh. Australian nude beach. Go. Yeah. Where the we got some Australians in the chat. Guys, go go to the nude beach. Where the planes land, you'll find this beach, and I've placed the shell just out of reach. Hey, hit that guy with if the If you bear. come first and want to flex, make sure you leave something for the person that's next. Hmm. You're from Sydney. There you go. Okay, that was nice. That was a cute little vetted.